Defense by Trevoron is a highly randomized tower defense game for Pico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today's game is called Die Fence by the developer called Trevoron. It's a pun on defense, do you get it? Huh? Um, Die Fence is a tower defense game, which is not a genre you see too much on Pico 8. I'm not entirely sure why, because lots of people like tower defense games, so why are there not more of them? Anyway, Die Fence is a tower defense game, but the one... Um, interesting thing about it, oh, that's, a, that's a bit unfair, the the big interesting thing about it is the fact that all of the towers that you place are randomised, they are all dice, that's why it's called Die Fence, it's like a pun, okay, um, so Trevron has been working on the game since last year, it's their first um, Pico 8 game, so they've been working on it nice and slowly, learning the system, learning Pico 8, learning how to code, is a such a wonderful journey. <laughs> um, it was originally going to be, oh, it was inspired by GMTK Jam last year. The theme for that was Roll of the Dice, I think. I made a game for that jam and I can't remember. I think it was Roll of the Dice. Anyway, there's dice, okay? That's how it works. Um, anyway, it's here with us now. So I'm going to play through it and show you how cool it is. Um, let's read the tutorial first because... Um, the game is very frenetic, very fast paced, so I have a hard time making any sense while I'm actually playing the game. So, here we are. This is the tutorial screen. Um, these are our different towers that we've got here. Each, um, you'll see that each um, tower, the little face is like a little dice. Do you see that? That's cool, that. I always realise that. Um, so you've got five different characters, um, peasant, soldier, archer, shield, bearer and priest. Uh, with very kind of um, easy to grasp abilities or attacks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you roll a six, that lets you upgrade the tower or well and or heal them. Um, massive wall of text here in the tutorial. Um, yeah, this kind of says what I've already said. <laughs> um, you can roll a six to upgrade. You can. Um, Recycle. If you if you don't want to use a tower, you can kind of cancel it and roll again, and you get it, it kind of you get the roll quicker. Um, you can also replace towers. So that's the tutorial. I'm going to play in easy mode because again, it's a very fast paced game. Once it gets going, very frantic. So I can take it nice and easy at the start. So this is the uh, the main screen. We've got a nice little music loop which plays all the way through the game. Nice little um, loop there, it's good. Um, nice little cursor as well. Particle effects as well. I didn't mention the particle effects on the title screen. You know how much I love title screens and particle effects. Anyway, um, we've got a grid. How many, is it, what is it? A five by five grid. Um, the enemies will come from the right hand side and we need to stop them getting to the left. And we can press the X button to roll the dice. The yellow red flashing bar that's our kind of dice bar once that's full filled up you can place a dice or roll a dice so i've rolled a four that's a shield bearer they don't attack just kind of block so i don't know put it in the middle it's kind of hard knowing where to put your towers because the enemies approach randomly so you kind of just have to kind of guess where you kind of want them to go Rolled a three there, that's an archer. You can see they've got a ranged attack. Another archer. I think they're best at the back. I think. Um, you can see their attack just scrolls all the way across, so it'll hit anything. What have we got? Another shield bearer. I guess we'll put him there. It'd be nice to be able to put um, priests there, but because of the random nature, you don't often get a chance to kind of strategically place your towers, or at least I don't, because I'm trying to keep up with the game. Anyway, we're um, into the game now, and you can see <laughs> first enemy just goes completely around my towers. So that um, peasant character I've just placed, they have a low attack, but they make your bar charge up quicker. Already, I'm placing towers in the wrong place. That archer should be back. Got an upgrade. So when you upgrade the towers, that does make them a lot stronger. 
Um, oh dear, this isn't going very well here. <laughs> um, you kind of have to be just placing as fast as possible all the time. Oh, an enemy just got through then as you can see and I've lost a, I've lost a hit point. Three strikes and you're out. So, yeah, you kind of just want to be placing... Oh no, another one's got through. Ugh. You kind of just want to be placing units all the time. It doesn't really... It doesn't seem to matter too much where you place towers, which is a little bit of a shame. It's more important just to have lots of towers. Um, these, um, the level layout is very, um, kind of cool. Between um, levels, you get these kind of hard, kind of boss rush kind of waves. Um, normally, you've just got a kind of slow trickle of enemies, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, you can see it's kind of hard to kind of keep track of things. The little um, status bar at the bottom kind of gives you a lot of information as to what's happening and what you should be doing. Um, but there's a lot of... Oh, no, that's it. Game over, man. There's a lot of text to read, it's quite overwhelming. Now I was thinking about this, and the only idea that I can come up with is maybe if the sprites were a little bit smaller or closer together, there might be more room around the outside of the screen maybe to, just so that the the little message bar at the bottom isn't having to do so much work. Anyway, I play another game on normal, because um, it is quite fun placing towers and watching them get attacked. Um, I have managed to complete this game, um, obviously that last run was a little bit of a disaster. It could do with more, um, the game could do with more kind of sound feedback, like it'd be nice if there was a kind of sound, oh I've already let one through. It'd be nice if there was a sound that would play when you've, when it's time to roll a dice, because it's hard to keep track of that when everything's going on. Um, and you end up just kind of mashing the place tower but block when the lot's going on. So yeah, I think if if the game could be like the pace could be slowed down maybe or I don't know maybe it's just me but I find it really hard to to keep track of. The um, character animations are very nice though. I love the um, the different character sprites. Um, you see now, I think they have an upgrade, but I hadn't even realised. I apologise. I mean, there is some strategy to like where you place towers. You kind of want to have priests in the middle of the screen, where their area of effect heal can kind of benefit the most. But because the dice rolls are random, it's kind of hard to really come up with a well placed. Um, kind of layout. The enemies are very strange. I mean, I don't know what those, um, what those yellow diamonds are. Very strange. We've got kind of red triangles attacking us. It's sort of like being attacked by a box of Quality Street. That's a bit of a UK reference. I don't think they have Quality Street in other countries. It's chocolates, okay? You get, them at, you get them at Christmas, a big tin of chocolates. The green triangles are the best. So, yeah, I'm mostly just kind of trying to work out where I've got a kind of weak area in the... Oh dear, like there. No! Oh, I'm just trying to work out where I've kind of got a weak spot in my wall, my defensive wall, and I'm just kind of trying to place towers wherever. It's more important to have lots of towers than it is to have well-placed towers. Oh, it's getting harder. I wonder if this game has been made more difficult. I played an earlier version of the game. And I completed that after a few attempts. This feels a lot harder. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not doing as well. I don't know. It's all the look of the... Look of the... the look, roll of the dice. Look of the draw. It's luck, and I've not got much luck at the moment, sadly. Eventually, we'll get these pink circle enemies that turn up, and they cast spells. Their fireball spell will wreck your towers. 
Um, you have to... I hope one of them turns up because I'll be able to show you what you need to do for them to not die. So, I'm not entirely sure what these two enemies are doing here. They appear to have been... They appear to have got stuck. I could probably do... I could probably do with rolling, getting another archer. Maybe if I had an archer at the back row. Oh, there's so many. Oh, that was. I needed an archer. Oh, but the wrong place. There's so much going on on the screen. Like, I don't really think we need number pop ups for the healing. I mean, I assume that the healing is happening. I don't really need to be told about it. Peasant. Ugh. Come on, give me an archer. I need an archer. Right. We apparently dealt with that guy. Don't know why it took so long. Here we go. The pink circle, guys. You need to kill them. Priority one. They are... They will ruin your day. Now, you see there, I was trying to place a tower, but because... I couldn't really see what was going on, and it was an I was supposed to upgrade. Like I say, it could do with some more sound effects or indication of what you're supposed to be doing because it's hard to keep track. Oh no, there's another pink one. I was stuck on an upgrade again. Even if it was just like a cancel sound, like if you try and do something that you, you can't do, if it just played a sound for that. Oh, it's an upgrade one again. So I've only got one hit point left, and I'm fairly confident this isn't the last um the last hard. Oh, there's so many of those pink guys appearing now. But we are getting to the point now where we've got a full or nearly full kind of roster of towers. I mean, maybe you're supposed to get to this point a lot quicker. Because of this, obviously at this point, you can start being a bit more tactical in where you place things. Right, just, I can't, who needs, ooh, that guy needs healing. I've just noticed there's, the characters do actually have little health bars. Oh no, there's a shield guy there, he's not going to be fighting the pink thing. Oh, he's got his fireball off. Here we go. Oh, it does so much damage! Oh, I'm getting a pounding from this guy. Yeah, the pink guys, you really need to kill them quickly. That was pretty bad. That soldier didn't last long up there, did he? I think we've got a couple of... Oh, that's bad. This one pink guy is just ruining my entire game here. Right, we're okay. We've done it. True evil approaching. Oh, it's the boss. It's the end boss. Oh, my God. We've got some boss music. Oh, he's just teleported. I think he killed one of my units there. I think we've got him. Come on. Is that it? Have we done it? No. How is he still going? He's got no health. There we go. <laughs> God, the sound is crazy. Eve has been defeated. Yay. <laughs> so, that was Die Fence. An absolutely bonkers tower defense game. So manic. So frantic. Um, the dice rolling is very interesting. Um, I like the upgrade system. I like the graphics. It's all nicely animated. There's some nice particle effects. I kind of wish there was a little bit less going on on the screen. There's probably a little bit too much, too many particle effects. There's all the like the healing and damage pop-ups are just kind of overwhelming. And it, it, a few more sound effects to kind of say where, or to, to tell you when you should be placing an upgrade or when you're trying to do something that you are not allowed to do. Just some sound effects to kind of give you some hints as to what's happening because it's so manic. Um, 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through that. Um, Die Fence, you can play it on Splore, and there's also the link over on Itch. It's Trevoron's first game, so, um, you know, go and check it out, and hopefully we'll see some more games on Pico 8. Wow, that was a smooth outro, wasn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.